Hey yo what's up, Maji here and welcome to another Monday Night Dive reaction. So today we're going to be checking out Eyes One's second Japanese single which is entitled Buenos Aires. So quite the exotic destination and well we'll have to see the MV to find out what it's really all about. So let's go right ahead and check out the MV. So here we go. Okay, we have outdoor ambient sounds, Venus flytrap. Okay. Quite the exotic instrumental as well. Very interesting. Wait a minute. Buenos Aires is in Argentina, right? Why is there French here? But then again, there are a lot of migrants in Argentina. Interesting vocal mix. They have this weird layering on the vocals. Oh, I get it now. It fits more for the chorus. Okay, now we have Spanish. Ooh, this this synchronized trap line sounds really really great um not synchronized i mean unison rap line Ole, ole. This song is so different from their other tracks. Okay. The dance break. Very interesting. And that's quite a dance break. Oh, nice. I like the drop there. For, you know, for some reason, this song makes perfect sense to me.
That Venus flytrap is such an image. Okay, so that was uh, Eyes One with Buenos Aires. And I'm also just starting to realize now. Uh, didn't plan my outfit in advance for this one as well. I just noticed like a lot of green imagery. <laughs> Especially with the, the Venus flytrap and all the plants. But yeah, this is just what I just happened to be wearing today. Um, yeah, like I said, uh, I kind of was weirded out by the, the composition of the instrumentals and the, the, the melody line at first, but after a while, it actually started making sense to me because this is a Japanese release and it actually sounds like, uh, like this this kind of style that i've heard before not exactly like any other song uh, not exactly like a specific song i've heard before but the style kind of reminds me of uh when when you're trying to f when j-pop is trying to fuse with latin music i'm i'm struggling to try to remember specific examples um probably something from from uh cute or bono or berries uh e either one or two of those three um but yeah this is the sound that that the type of sound that you get when you do mix um like it's not exactly latin music i i i, I don't hear much latin instrumentation in the instrumentals but uh, it has that Latin flavor, but it's highly mixed with the J-pop tones. And so, you get this really unique type of sound that makes it not sound like either. So it doesn't sound like Latin music, okay? And it doesn't sound like your typical J-pop uh, song. But yeah, like... Um, but since that clicked in my head, it, 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 the the in, the the music made sense to me. Now, uh, as for the treatment of their vocals, I I, I did mention there was this uh, weird layering, but that probably is also more typical. But then again, I'm not. I'm not an expert in Latin music. I, I only have listened to yeah very little Latin music in my life, but uh, for me it sounded more like the, the kind of vocal mixing that you might you might have in such a song, or maybe not Latin music specifically, but uh, this J-pop Latin fusion. Okay. But uh, yeah, either way, uh, it does really sound weird at first. But since there are th things that clicked in my head with my background in J-pop, and when it clicked, I liked it. And then the, the song itself, uh, now we actually get some lyrics. The previous Eyes 1 MVs. Um, don't have uh, closed captions, but this one does. And yeah, we see a lot of, uh, you know, the, the, the romanticism side. Not exactly romantic, but rom romanticism uh, side of, you know, like uh, th this, this air of romanticism of going to a faraway country such as Argentina to... to uh, Buenos Aires and uh, this whole uh, rom uh, again romanticist notions that, that surround the, the mystery of exploring such a foreign uh, place 
and so yeah uh for me i know this is probably not the actual uh point of the song or it may be i don't know uh, i haven't really gone in depth into analyzing the lyrics i just so, from what snippets i could see but for me it's it is yeah more like it speaks to uh the beauty and excitement of exploring something new and unknown um probably it's also supported by that imagery of the venus flytrap it's such an interesting you know plant to to look at but it's it has uh dangers of its own but uh sometimes it's the danger that can be quite alluring uh yeah so yeah once things started clicking for me like that uh i ended up uh liking the song it's not gonna be it's probably not gonna be my like absolute favorite from eyes one um but for me since i understand it like that it's it's a solid song for me so yeah uh very nice performance uh from the performance bits in the mv very nice performance from the members of ice one uh i really like the dance break the dance break portion um it's a bit hard to see with all the the zoom ins and the cuts and um but from what i could see there there were some interesting shots there especially some uh you know transitions in formations that they did that like added to the to, to this atmosphere of you know exoticism and mystery that they they build up for the mv and so you you get this rush of excitement that, okay yeah that's that's what i get from the this whole song this whole mv this whole listening experience is this this excitement of exploring this faraway land of going into the you know uh, uh, going somewhere new uh trying out a different culture right it's there's the romanticism of it all so yeah uh that's that's probably it from me i'll probably <laughs> fight uh i i'm struggling to find anything additional to comment on right now so let's let's just wrap it up so that was eyes one's buenos aires good solid song for me might not be for everyone depends on how well uh you can connect to it and understand it uh but for me i was able to connect and understand it on some weird level that might not be the same as how other people take in the song uh so in in my own way i i do like this song from eyes one uh my favorite though is probably still gonna be uh skito iwasetai uh, for now, <laughs> you know, I've, this is just the fourth song that we've reacted to so far. Uh, the fourth single. Who knows what other future uh, reactions may bring. But for now, uh, at the top of my list would be Skito Iwasetai. Maybe... I don't know how to rank the others though. Lavi and Rose and Violetta are somewhat tied for me. <laughs> and then uh this one. But this is not really a bad song. It's yeah, like I said, it for me it's a solid song. 
So yeah, uh, I guess that's it for my reaction to Buenos Aires from Ice One. Uh, oh, sorry, I I kind of spaced out there. That's it for my reaction to Buenos Aires from Ice One. Um, can't wait to see more from them. And I'm really enjoying uh, reacting to them, you know, week by week. We're taking it slow. We're getting to know uh, Eyes One bit by bit. And also gives me more time to, to get to know them more as well via the Produce 48 series, which I'm reacting to on Patreon. And yeah, uh, I can tell this is going to be a... A really, really uh, fun and interesting journey. So yeah, let's wrap that up. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also feel free to check out my Patreon, where I also post reactions to longer form content, more uh, casual content, uh, such as the Produce for uh, reactions to the Produce 48 series, which is ongoing right now. The Episode 2 should be up by right now with Episode 3 available for early access uh, to my patrons. And well, Episode 3 will uh, be released for public access later this week. And yeah. Uh, but one thing you should know is that most of the stuff on my Patreon is available for free. With just some perks set aside for those who are kind enough to subscribe. So don't be afraid to check out my Patreon. The link is in the description down below. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for joining me on this exciting, exotic journey with Eyes One. And until next time, have a great day everyone. And hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.